Hi there, I'm Dave Horton. I'm the creator of Jambones, the open source CPaaS for service providers. Now, since you found your way here, it's either because you just created a free account on jambones.org or you're thinking of doing so. Great, let's get you up and running. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the few simple steps of configuring your account on jambones.org so you can start building voice services for your customers. Jambones is what I call a bring your own everything CPaaS. As a service provider, you'll already have carriers that you wanna work with. So I'm gonna show you how to plug those carriers into Jambones so you can start using them instantly. On average, it should take you less than a minute to configure. So I think you're gonna find it super easy. Another thing that's different about Jambones is that we don't try to resell you speech services from AWS or Google that we've marked up by eight times or more in price like the other guys do. At Jambones, we're all about doing one thing well, and that one thing is hosting your communication APIs and making you successful. You know how to click, right? Well, head over to Google or AWS and click yourself some speech APIs, and I'll show you how to plug them into Jambones. So you get all the speech services you need without any of that nasty price markup. How's that sound? Great. All right, enough chit chat. Let's do this thing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is go to jambones.org, spin us up an account. It's here. I'm gonna use GitHub as my OAuth sign-in. Now the first thing we gotta do is choose a domain for ourselves. We can see it's gonna be a subdomain of sip.jambones.us. I'm just gonna go with Dave H, see if that's available. It is. Okay, I've just provisioned myself account on the hosted platform for Jambones. Now we can see there's a couple things that uh, we need to do to finish our account set up. Two things, we need to add a carrier, plug in our carrier, we need to add some speech credentials. Well, let's get right to it, I'm gonna add a carrier. Now when we add a carrier, there's a bunch of information we can provide, some of it's optional. Uh, some of the main, most important information is SIP gateways, so we're going to add in the inbound SIP gateways that we'll be receiving traffic from and the outbound SIP gateways. Oops, some other information as well. To make it easy, we've pre-configured some carriers. So let's just say we're going to plug in Twilio as a carrier. We'll go ahead and do that. You can see we've got all their gateways. We're all set up. The outbound gateway, if you've used Twilio, you know it's a subdomain of pstn.twilio.com. So we've got some work to do on the Twilio side. We've got to provision ourselves a trunk over there. Let's go do it. So I'll log into my Twilio account. And I'm going to create a new trunk. And on the termination side, when I send calls to it, I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call that davehpstn.twilio.com. So on my outbound, which is back over here. That's what I'll put there. But let's go back and finish our configuration on Twilio. So we're gonna send out access control. We do need some authentication. We don't want anybody sending through our Twilio trunk, just ourselves. So we need to create a credential list. Let's create a new credential list and we'll just call it Jambones again. I'm going to say Dave H for a username, and I'll assign myself a password as well. Okay, so sending out through Twilio should be all set. I've created a DNS to send to, and I've got some authentication credential list that only I know, so no one else can use that. Go ahead and save that trunk. We need Twilio to send us calls as well. So we need an origination URI, so we're going to add an origination URI. What are we going to put there? Well, it's like it says right here, have your carrier send calls to your subdomain, which for me is DaveH. Zip colon DaveH.jambones.org. Okay, so we've done that. Now, we need to add some numbers. 
to our trunk as well. So let's pick a couple numbers. I'm going to go with my 774 and this 508. I'm going to add both of those to my trunk. So now I've got two numbers on Twilio that route to this trunk and I've got um, the trunk configured to send to my Jambones account. I'm done. It's that easy. Um, back over here I need to put in those credentials that I created. So again, Dave H. My super secret password. Let's save that. Okay, I got Twilio configured as a trunk. Um, let's go back to our homepage, see how we're doing. Yeah, we've completed that task. We have one more task. We've got to add some speech credentials. Almost every call we're going to be using text-to-speech. We might be using speech-to-text. So we want to add our speech credentials. I'm going to add Google, some Google credentials. Now we can use either or both. Google, and we can also use AWS. If, when we plug in credentials for AWS, it's pretty straightforward. It's an AWS access key and a secret access key. And then we say if we want to use it for text-to-speech or speech-to-text. For Google, we're going to upload a service key file. If you're not familiar with that, let me show you how to do it. I'm going to go over to Google, and I'm going to create a new project. I'll just call it any old thing. And then in this project, I want to enable speech, of course. So I'm going to go to APIs. And I'm going to search for speech. And I want to enable text-to-speech and speech-to-text. Okay, so I've enabled text-to-speech and speech-to-text. Now I want to generate a service key file. So let's go to credentials. I want to add a new service account. So I'll create a service account. Don't need to do anything special there. Manage the keys for the account and add a new key. And we want a JSON key. And it's downloaded to my laptop. Okay, that's it. Let's go back over here now and upload that file. We'll say we want to use it for text-to-speech and speech-to-text. When we add it, it gets tested to make sure those APIs are enabled. The green check means they are. So we're good to go. We could add AWS as well if we wanted to use both in our app. I'm just going to stick with Google for right now. Back on our homepage, our to-do items are taken care of. Now our account's completely configured. We've got an account, configured our carrier, we configured some speech credentials. Let's test it out. Let's go create an application. I've got some public applications that anybody can use. One's Hello World. Just takes an inbound call and plays some text-to-speech. And these all appear under this publicapps.jambones.us URL so that anybody can use them. And they're great for testing out carriers and text-to-speech. So here, I've got an application. I can choose my speech synthesis vendor. I'm going to use Google as I talked about. I can use different languages, different voices. 
I'll go with WaveNet C for right now. Speech Rec, same thing. I can choose my preferred vendor and language. And we've created an application. Now, we want to make a call and test that application. How do we do that? A couple of ways we can do it. One is to go back and say that every call coming in from Twilio, we want to go to a specific application by default. Can override that later, and we'll see how to do that. But to start with, let's just send calls from Twilio to my Hello World application. Okay, that's it. I'm ready to test now by dialing one of the numbers that I configured on Twilio. So let's try that. Hey there, and welcome to Jambones. Jambones is the CPaaS designed with the needs of communication service providers in mind. This is an example of simple text-to-speech, but there is so much more you can do. Try us out. Okay, bingo. Inbound calling's working, check. Text-to-speech is working, check. Now, let's see, what's left to test? Well, outbound calling. Let's make sure we can put calls out through our carrier, which is Twilio in this case. Now, to test that, I've got another public app we can use. And uh, it simply dials a time clock. So we'll have an inbound call come in, hit our platform, do a little text-to-speech, and then we'll send it out to a time clock that's going to answer and play the time. So in that call flow, we will have tested both inbound calling, our speech credentials for text-to-speech, and then make sure we can do outbound calling through our carriers as well. Now remember, right now, we have all of our incoming calls from Twilio going to the Hello World app. Let's take one of those DIDs, phone numbers at Twilio, and route it to our new Dial Time Clock app. To do that, we can add phone number. And the phone number we want to add, and we do these in E164 format, minus the plus, is a 508 372, actually there it is right there. And the carrier I'll say is Twilio, and the application will be dial time clock. Okay, so now we've got a default routing to Hello World, but we're overriding that on a phone number level and routing it to our dial time clock application. All right, let's test that now. Hi there, please hold while we connect you to the copy clock, which is graciously provided by the National Research Council Time Signal of Canada. NRC. Eastern Daylight Time, 20 hours, 18 minutes, and 20 seconds. NRC, Eastern Daylight Time, 20 hours, 18 minutes, and 30 seconds. Okay, and that worked as well. Now if we go look at our recent calls, we can see some of our calls, where they were made, various information, and so forth. That's the basics of getting up and running. We showed you how to configure, create your account, plug in your carrier, plug in your speech credentials, make some test calls to make sure everything's working. All right, we've got you up and running. You plugged in your carriers and speech services and routed calls to a Jambones application. There's more to learn, but don't worry. I'm not going to leave you hanging. What I suggest you do next is, well, you do that thing we all love to do, start building applications. And I got you covered. Check out my next video on building Jambones applications using the Node.js SDK. We'll get you off to a great start. I think you're going to love how quickly you build applications on Jambones. That's all for now, and if you have any questions, please email us at support at jambones.org, or hell, just email me directly at dave h at jambones.org. 
All right, I'll see you next time. And you have a great day.